is hello so I've never done one of these before but I'm gonna be doing a journal flip through obviously this is not my current journal I actually worked on this back in 2010 when I was a sophomore in high school and it kind of goes a long way I honestly don't know where it ends this is a moleskin and it's lovely I love these moleskins they're great um, yeah, so we're just gonna go for it. The only cool thing about this page, so I have like my name and contact information here, um, but there's a nice little Deathly Hello sign right there, so Harry Potter Jenna. So I actually wrote on the first page, and this is the first thing I ever journaled in this moleskin, and it's just me writing about uh, the start of school, and I started sophomore year, and so it's me being super dramatic, but yeah. So this is a page that I did. It was kind of inspired by Sarah Borealis, but it's like I taped on, I drew out this bird, and then I taped it on this bird cage I drew on, and then I wrote Set Me Free, and like this is me being artsy and dramatic. This is a free write that I did where I just sat in my room and I remember listening to the wind because my window was open, and I just like wrote about the wind, and so it's good go me good job okay and then over here we have obviously song lyrics and um, this is for a song that I actually have not thought about in a long time but I wrote like a bunch of like chord information over here and so <laughs> this is my attempt at songwriting back in 2010 <laughs> in this moleskin I actually did a lot of like thoughts just because I would be in study hall for a long period of time and I wouldn't have any homework to do so I'd be like I'm just gonna write about my life and so um, yeah, <laughs> this is my life. This is a page that I'm actually really proud of, and I kind of copy it in my new moleskin, so keep an eye out for that, but I just printed out a bunch of really pretty pictures that I liked from Tumblr, because this is the kind of blog that I had back in 2010, like everybody had as a hipster on Tumblr. Um, and so I just wrote, like, breathe in the background, and then I glued down these, and I wrote, uh, words and ideas can change the world. And I literally don't know why I did this, but it looks pretty, so it's good. <laughs> Alright, this is hilarious because there are a couple times in this journal where I just kind of like wrote a short story about what I dreamed my life would be which is stupid and awful but this is like I went to a party and I I like saw my crush there and I like danced with him or something I don't even remember but I do remember writing a couple of these and they were so stupid but I was like this is what my life will be like someday and then it wasn't and so reality crashes down these are some more this one, this one I think was about driving and I like had my license and I was super excited about it. And this one was about if I like actually became a famous singer and I like sang and opened up for somebody. So yeah, great. And then this was another story that I wrote. Um, yeah, I don't remember what this was, but this I think was hanging out with friends on a three day weekend. This is more about my life that is not fun or fun, boring weekend. So... <laughs> Um, this one was another short story about my life, um, and then <laughs> this, this, I don't even know what this is, but this was about my life back in the day. I was dreaming about getting a Tumblr, because I hadn't gotten a Tumblr yet, um, up until this point. I got it in October of that year, and I think this is still, like, September, but I may have gotten permission to make one finally, and so I was like, this is what it's gonna look like! This is my layout, and this is my theme! And that's literally not at all anything that happened, but... I definitely was like, I think these are some of the blogs that I followed and this is what I wanted my Tumblr to be and that's not at all what it was. <laughs> Again, more writing about my life. This is, I think these are all the things that I thought made me happy at the moment. So this is actually a playlist that I came up with and it was for like thinking clearly and so I drew some like headphones and these are just some of the songs that I was listening to at the time um, which is crazy because I do still like a lot of these but some of these are really dated. <laughs> This is another page of my thoughts in my life, and I wrote, I think these are some of the music, like, albums that I wanted, and some of them I got, and some of them I definitely didn't. This is a line from a metric song. I believe it's Collect Call, but I wanted to write it out and look cool, so. Um, this was another write about my life back in study hall. This was when I was trying to be artsy. I drew a mug of coffee, and so this is supposed to be steam, but... Um, they're Sarah Borealis lyrics, I believe. Um, yeah, so that's Artsy Jenna. And then on this side, it's another writing about my life. Um, and I found my mom's, like, label maker, and so I experimented in it. And I believe that's a seal lyric, Beauty Lies in Reality. This is another artsy page, me drawing an eye. Um, I believe this is a metric lyric. 
did they tell you you should grow up when you wanted to dream? But I can't remember what line it's from or what song it's from. Um, this is a tree. It's not a good tree, but it's a tree. And I like printed out this weird thing on the computer. It's going to be a place where only the things you want to happen would happen. And I feel like that's from Bridge to Terabithia. Maybe not. So this is a page where I just like listed all of my fears at the time. And I actually haven't look at, looked at this in a long while, but it's very interesting. And then this is a bunch of Tumblr pictures, because I think at that point maybe I had my blog, I'm not sure. But um, this, 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 this is actually a line from Fader by The Temper Trap, and that is actually like the first blog that I fell in love with was this blog where the username was Words Don't Sink, which is a line from that song, but like that's part of the reason why I got into Tumblr, so it's like really great that I wrote that down there. But this is me trying to be artsy and talk about fall and yeah, you know. This is a page where I talked about what would happen if I were on the Titanic because I must have been watching Titanic, and then I was like, what would happen? So I like wrote it out, I don't know. This was where I was imagining my blog, and I was like, this is what it'll look like, and I'll write out an entry for October 3rd. That's crazy, it was just October 3rd the other day. Wow. Um, and then this is another like talking about my life. Apparently, it was the longest week of my life, so that's fun. This, I was trying to be artsy, well, I was trying to write a song, and then I didn't want to, so I tried to be artsy. I don't even know what this is. I Probably these are my lyrics and they're shitty, but. Um, then we have another write about my life thing, so that's fun. Apparently I had an epiphany, who knows. Um, more writing about my life. I actually wrote more about my life in this journal than I expected to, more than I thought I did at the time, and I was reading these entries a couple of weeks ago, and a lot of them are very depressing. <laughs> um, I don't know what it was, but high school was a very dark place for me, apparently. This is, I think, me writing mini letters to people about if I could say anything, I would just like say that to them. I don't even know who the people are anymore, but that's interesting. This is my wish list of what I wanted in November 2010, obviously. And a lot of these things I have actually gotten um, since I wrote this down, but then there's a lot of them like <laughs> this one that I never got. This is another song that I never finished. And then this is a reference to Harry Potter 7 part 1. I went and saw it like the day it opened in theaters and apparently I decided to write this in here to commemorate it. So that was great. Good job. This is another talking about my life thing. Will this matter in five years? Well, this it's now been five years since this. Let's see. Um, this is more talking about my life. This is me trying to be artsy and drawing. So I like didn't draw the hands because they looked really bad. So I was like, this is it. This is what I drew. This was me talking about um, vacation and flyleaf. I really got into Memento Mori that year. So flyleaf, good job. Okay, this is a list of my favorite things from 2010, I guess, which is interesting because almost none of these are on the list anymore. Um, many of these aren't on the list anymore. Many of these aren't on the list anymore. Like, a lot of these are just, like, not on the list anymore, which is hilarious and super cool. Um, this is my list of resolutions on January 1st, 2011, and I'm pretty sure most of these did not happen. This isn't from anything, as far as I know. I just, like, came up with this and was like, oh, look, I'm being artsy. I don't know. This one is about metric because I really got into them when I was in high school and I like listened to an interview by them and I really loved it. This is a list of to-dos from February of 2011. So what I did a lot in here is I would write my like weekly or monthly to-do list and I wouldn't really do anything but it like became my planner and I've actually carried this on into college. I do this all the time now. Um, this is not a good example though. Um, and then this is talking about finals week which was gross. I don't know what this is about, but that's more writing about my life. This was me trying to be artsy drawing like Chinese takeout stuff. I don't know why. I hate Chinese, but I was like, let's draw. So that's me drawing. This is the start of February, and I was writing about February and Harry Potter, apparently. This is a list of quotes from a very Potter musical and a very Potter sequel, and it's not a good list, but it's a mini list, and I just, it's very interesting to read those. Um, and then this was inspired by It's Kind of a Funny Story. And so if you've read that book, the main character makes these maps and he just like draws them for people and they're really cool. And so I was like, I'm gonna draw a map of my brain. And so this is what my brain looks like apparently. Taylor Swift deserves a bigger spot, honestly. And then this is uh, more talking about my life and then like a to-do list for the weekend. So that's interesting. This, I probably more about my life. 
and this is like quotes and lyrics in my head. I think thoughts for songwriting maybe, I'm not really sure. And then this is a quote from Megan Dia with a random guitar, cause art. And then again, more talking. This is, I don't even know what I'm talking about in half these, but. So this is a bunch of Taylor Swift lyrics where the line starts with I, and I don't even know why I did this, but I did, so pretty interesting. This is what I was doing the week of March 9th, 2011. So I have like songs that I need to download, to-do list. Um, this is a quote from Flyleaf. And then of course a Taylor Swift quote because I'm me. This is more talking about my life. Um, I was auditioning for the school talent show and I thought I did really well and then we didn't get in. So that's great. Um, but this is another one of my to-do lists. Um, so this is more like what I do nowadays, except it's even different, but that's kind of the general idea. This was a doodle, and this is me talking about my life. I really wish I had finished this doodle, but clearly I did not want to. And then this is uh, my chemical romance quote, and I remember writing it, and I was like, this is super ugly, but I already started it, so I can't stop. So then I drew stars and thought that would make it better. Um, this is a song that I wrote. I don't remember what it's called, but clearly it was important enough to put in this. And then this was a note that I wrote to my crush at the time and obviously I was never gonna give it to him but I'm such a dork and then this is something I found on tumblr that I was like I'm gonna print it off because that's important and I did and I've never looked at it since then this one I, I don't know I just wrote it I think I found this fancy pen and I was like I'm gonna look cool and then it just looks lame but this is a list of words that don't exist in the English language that I found on Tumblr. And so I wrote the word and then what language it's from and then like the definition. Um, this, this used to be really popular on Tumblr in like 2011. <laughs> and so over here, this is a quote from Broken Bells. And I actually don't own this song, but I thought this quote was really cool from one of their songs. So it's really cool. Like this. It's all blood and sweat and life is what you manage in between. And then this is a quote from a song that I never wrote, but I was like, this would be a great lyric. And then I'll draw a picture frame. All right, here's a to-do list for the week of April 4th, 2011. So all the things I needed to do. And then White Blank Page by Mumford & Sons, because why not? Um, and then this is another like talk about my life slash to buy list. So that's fun. I was bored in study hall one day and so I just like sat down and wrote out all of the um, like decoded messages from Taylor Swift's music booklets. So this is all of the decoded messages for Speak Now. Obviously I tried to write in the Taylor Swift font. So that's fun. And then I also did it for Fearless. So this also includes the Platinum Edition songs which is pretty cool. Um, and I don't think I did it for the first album. This, I was planning to put a bunch of Harry Potter quotes when I was like rereading, and I just didn't. So it looks really lame, but I have this one quote from Goblet Fire. This is again me talking about my life. This is a list of country songs that are perfect for the summer, some of which I've bought, some of them I have not. Um, and then I, this is a quote from a Lauren McKenna song. This is a page I'm actually kind of proud of. This is a bunch of lyrics from 30 Seconds to Mars. This is War album. And so I like drew this girl. <laughs> I don't even know what it means, but it's a bunch of their lyrics and it just looks really cool. And I just, art, art. This is another talking about my life, but at this point, um, we are to the point of Someone Like You by Adele being released, so that's exciting. I really wanted to have a sleepover with my friends, so I was like planning out what it would look like and we were gonna talk about music and stuff. And then this is a drawing with lines from Talk is Cheap by Miley Cyrus. I believe that's what it's called. I don't know if that's blood or paint or what, but I tried to look cool and artsy. This is more talking about my life. I think this is right before my birthday, and so I'm talking about all the things that happened and that I learned about in like 2010 to 2011 when I was like 15 or 16. Oh yeah, 15, 15. And so more talking about my life. This is a line from we Didn't Start the Fire by Billy Joel. So I had just seen music and lyrics and I wanted to respond to the movie. So this is like kind of thoughts that were inspired by the movie. And then we have another to-do list for May 16th, 2011. As you can tell, these are very periodic. Um, this is a line from 30 Seconds to Mars, um, Closer to the Edge. And I'm talking about 16 Candles, the movie. This, I don't know what this list is, but I still love most of those artists. So good job, Jenna. 
Um, here is more to-dos from June of 2011. My final glades. Go, Jenna. This is a line from Careful by Paramore, and this is a line from Into the Wild by John Krakauer. More talking about my life. This is me saying I'm gonna have a moleskin every September, and that has literally not happened at all. I can't spell essentials. This happened on the last day of my sophomore year of high school. I actually performed at my first and only open mic night in my town with one of my friends, and so I remember that night very clearly and so I wrote down like where it was, what time, what we sang and <laughs> I was like, this is it, like I can do this, I'm gonna be great, I can do this, I can be a singer and that's not what happened but I like recorded it for future Jenna. Me talking about being a junior in high school, these are some songs that I really liked at the time. This is a song that I wrote, um, I don't even remember it at this point but I have it written down. <laughs> And this is me talking about summer school, and then this is a quote from Astronauts by One Eskimo. Look at me being artsy. So then this is a list of good things or things that make me happy. Here's a shopping list of things that I need from July 2011. Apparently today was really great. I actually remember this day. This is me replying to Harry Potter 7 Part 2. I just saw it and I vividly remember like midnight after I saw this movie, sitting in my room with the light on, on the floor, scribbling down all these things that I remembered, being like, these are the good things, these are the bad things, but it was still really good. This is a playlist that I made in the middle of the night. Playlist for long nights, probably couldn't sleep at that point, and so it's like nice random songs. This is another artsy page where I did a playlist and then these were printed really badly, like the color didn't turn out, but I was like, oh, it's like sepia tone, it's really cool. This is me talking about how I want to be loved. Over here, this is documenting my trip to Quincy to see my relatives that summer, and I didn't write a lot, but I apparently wrote like once every single day. I was gonna dedicate this page to Megan Mace from Megan and Liz, and like, <sighs> clearly did not. This is me talking about Pottermore. Um, the first Pottermore, like the very first, where you had to get up at 5 a.m. and make your account, and so I was like super excited about it, and I drew some nice Harry Potter things. This is just a bunch of doodles. I think I did this on a train, and so we got like Harry Potter references and Taylor Swift references and all kinds of things. And then over here, I took a trip to New York and Boston that summer, and so I was like, I'm gonna journal about it, and so I did. Um, this is the funniest part. And I remember writing that being like, I'm gonna be so annoyed at myself in like five years. Here I am, annoyed at myself. But yeah, this is talking about New York City, the first time I went, and so I'm like documenting the experience, and so we're talking more about it, and then I get to go to Boston, and I actually took, a, did a program at Berklee College of Music in Boston, so I'm like documenting the experience, and it was really scary for me, I remember that, because it was the first time I stayed in like a college dorm room for any period of time, and it was terrifying, but you know, you move on. Um, so still documenting the experience. These are some like lyrics I think that I was writing. Thus starts the notes for this Berkeley songwriting camp and I like took random notes for all these little classes that I took. So this is like trying to start with a word and then like writing ideas for lyrics or songs by branching things out. And then this is me talking about copyright law, like why we don't finish songs and how you can like grow from that. This is more notes about labels and like management and stuff like that. This is about writer's block. And so this is tips about like being an artist um, and all kinds of things that don't mean anything anymore. More talk about publishers and contracts and recoupables. <laughs> This is like how to write a song, I believe. This is me trying to do the thing that I did with that sand page with nail. Yeah, so this is like people I can write songs about and like song ideas, which is kind of telling about, you know, my relationships with people in high school, but I don't really care. I think actually this is when I was co-writing with somebody and so we were like trying to expand on that and write a whole song, but we didn't. Um, these are some of my current obsessions back in 2011. Doctor Who, still on there, Taylor Swift. <laughs> this is me trying to be dramatic and artsy, but it really makes no sense. Um, yeah, so this is things that I need to accomplish, aka to do. This is a Carrie Underwood quote, and I tried to draw like a glass of water with like the displaced wood table. This is one of my favorite pages. I saw this on Tumblr, and it was, I don't know if it was a drawing or what, but I was like, I'm gonna make a drawing of my iPad, and so I did, and I think it looks pretty good, all things considered. This, I was trying to like make a bunch of recipes um, and like write them in all artsy because of Tumblr, but I literally only wrote that one down, and I've never made that Nutella hot cocoa. Never. 
this is a list of movies to watch and or buy in October. Talking about me being not great um, in high school and my grandma noticed or something. Um, this is me saying I haven't written in a while, so writing about my life. More to do's from November 15th, 2011. And then this is a nice little winter playlist that I made in 2011. This is a quote from Lady Gaga's hair. This is me just writing random thought things that are stupid about philosophy and stuff. Again, more talking about my life. This is the start of a new semester, so I'm guessing this is 2012. Um, and then I, of course, made a list of things to do in the summer because everybody loves the summer. This is summer plans for 2012. Clearly I wanted summer very badly. Um, this is a list of things that I wanted to buy at the time. Okay, this is a quote from A Fine Frenzy. It's from her song Happier. Um, list of to-dos from February 2012. Things I wish I could be doing. I was probably in study hall or math class when I wrote that. And this is me having senioritis, probably, or almost senioritis. More list of things to do in the summer. This I made, I drew it out and I ended up making a blog and this was like the header for it. I was trying to be really like theological that summer and so I remember going to the park and like writing out about this and reading this verse and just like reflecting on it. So I read a post somewhere there where or a quote where they were like, write what you want to read. And I was like, all right, well, what do I want to read? What do I want to write about? And so this is like planning for, ooh, this is actually planning for my NaNoWriMo novel in about 2012, which is one of my favorite NaNoWriMo novels. And it's about Iris Blackwell. So this is me planning like what's gonna happen. This is the Lord's Prayer. I don't know why I wrote it. Quotes from, we are never ever getting back together. So clearly we have skipped ahead to like August or September at this point. Some printouts of Doctor Who drawings by one of my favorite artists ever. I can't remember her name. Bridget Vaughn, that's who it was. So I wanted to make a page all about Doctor Who and it didn't happen. And I tried to do the same thing for Harry Potter. So I printed out some quotes that I liked and it just like didn't work out. But I did it for Taylor Swift and I tried to make it look cool. I have a bunch of quotes and lyrics, some pictures, and then I listed like all of her songs that were released at the time. This is from a night, the tent night, the tent sleepover I was planning of my friends and I all got together in a tent and I made them um, make playlists. And so we listened to the playlist and they explained why their songs were on the playlist. More story ideas, but this is not for Iris. This is for a different story that I never wrote. So this is more stuff from Berkeley, I believe. So some random notes that I stuck in over here. And then down here are some addresses for the friends that I met at Berkeley. Okay, um, these are some of the things that are on my mind. And then over here are some of the top songs at the time of my life. And I do still like a lot of these songs actually, so that's pretty good. I don't know what any of this is. And then I drew my Nikon because YOLO. And then this is a list of like future things and Christmas and <laughs> I forgot about this. This is a quote from a very Potter senior year. This is me talking about my life, being obsessed with photography, everything has changed, photo ideas for my final project back when I was in high school, another list of things to do. This is a list of things that I need to buy and or read, uh, things to do before I leave. I think this was before I went off to college or it might have been when I was a sophomore in college, I can't remember. This is a list of notes for a Bible study that I did a long time ago. And then this is actually a quote from City of Heavenly Fire. And then this is Christmas lists from 2014 and 2015 TBR. And then these are song lyrics for my song about kale. This is just me writing and thinking and writing let go a bunch of times. Uh, more notes. This is my song Prisoner of Love, which I wrote about Akatar in 2015. I drew this um, a long time ago, but it's just things that are on my mind and I tried to be artsy. And then this is goals for my sophomore year of college. I'm now a senior. And this last page is just um, writing random lyrics and like, I don't even know, maybe they're my favorite lyrics, but they're all just kind of lined up and it's pretty cool. So that's it. That is my whole journal. It's, it's done. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.